You have been cooking his recipe this morning and using his new barbecue mark, but what was it actually like to meet one of your heroes? Oh, it was, oh, it was brilliant. It was fantastic. It was like a kid in a sweet shop. Did you, you know? actually string a sentence together or did you go, Ugh. Oh, yeah, for the first 20 minutes it was like, oh, my God, it's Heston. No, oh, no, it was awesome. Good. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at your time with Heston. I'm at Cowrie Bay, Boom Rock in Clevedon, and it is absolutely amazing. Heston Blumenthal is here, it's just over there, look at that. He's got the Everjaw barbecue range, it's got gas barbecues, we've got charcoal barbecues, but he's just launched a brand new barbecue, the Everjaw 4K, and it is absolutely amazing. It is definitely designed by a chef, and we're gonna to talk to him a little bit later about the barbecue. Well, welcome. Welcome to New Zealand, Heston. It's great to have you back. So I want to talk about the Fat Duck. So iconic restaurant, you know, around the world. Absolutely amazing. I've actually eaten there. It's, 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 it was one of my best meals, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, but you've got some iconic dishes, snail porridge, egg and bacon ice cream, uh, sounds of the sea. But what has been your favourite? Because it's 23 years old now. I don't have a favourite. I would say I have dishes that kind of just sent me off in a direction. So where do you get your insp inspiration from? So as a kid, I got obsessed with ice cream. Yeah. So the first area of science I looked at in food was ice cream, making ice cream. And I found out that the Victorians made savoury ices. And when I first saw savoury ice, I thought, that's a bit weird. But why? Why not? And then I, I thought, well, because we grew up with ice, with, with ice cream being sweet. And so I then put a crab ice cream with a crab risotto with parmesan and uh, found that it was a slightly bovril or marmite love or hate it dish. It led to my first paper, Sussex University, with a professor called Martin Yeomans. And we did it with crab and salmon. So salmon ice cream, smoked salmon ice cream, or frozen smoked salmon mousse. Same recipe, no difference. When it was called smoked salmon ice cream, it was perceived to be 10 to 20% more salty because the expectation is it's ice cream, therefore it must be like this, and it's about contrast. And I thought, oh my God, changing the name, the name changes of the dish. The, changes the perception of it changes, taste. Yeah. You know, I went, I was, I, for my 21st birthday, I got taken down to the Fat Dork, and uh, you know, so this was 17 years ago. It was an amazing experience, and I can still remember it now. Every, every dish we had just got better and better and better, and we started off with uh, like a lime foam. I remember everything about that, you know, about that dinner. And, and at the end of it, you, you came out, and you sat down on the table, and you had a chat to us and you, you were telling me about some ideas that you wanted to do. Did I say to you... Um, you wanted like, to feed oh, people. Oh, that was a very... Oh, my... You, you wanted to feed oh, people, but you I wanted to, it, to feed like, the opposite... So, yeah, with spoons, because you wanted to put the... Oh the, the you wanted to put the, uh, the diners that's a, that's a, in a oh different position, God, so the... Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. The, the... So you're in New Zealand, uh, obviously, to promote your Everjaw barbecues. Amazing barbecue, the 4K. Um, you know, I've had a look at it, seen all the specs, and I can only describe it as a chef has gone behind it and designed it. Have you, were you like, you know, in that design process and, and told them you knew? Yeah, that's a result of two or three other barbecues that were the average range that happened before. For me, the but 4K now you... combines the old crackle of the fire. Yeah, with the with reward. Modern technology. What is your go-to recipe and what is your top tip for the barbecue? Well my top tip, you can roast your meat and let it rest. You can cook your green veg and let them rest. You can cook your cabbage and let it rest. You can do your apple sauce or whatever, let it rest. Potatoes wait for no one. No, it's got to be bang on. When they're ready, you've got to get everything else ready. So my, my it's almost like a reverse engineering. My top tip for the barbecue... Work around the potato. Is work around the potato. Fantastic. And go-to recipe on the barbecue? A burger. A burger? Okay. Yes. Yeah, nice. And one, one quick question. My daughter she sent a video. Heston, 
My favourite dessert is strawberry cake with rainbow icing on it. What's your favourite dessert? Uh, ice cream that wasn't too sweet with crunchy bits in it. Sitting in front of the TV, watching a film that I liked. Uh, and my feet up on the table. I think that would be my favourite dessert. But I might have some other ones that I'll think about later. But I thought yours... Uh, Unicorn Sparkles. ...was actually pretty cool. <laughs>I want to thank you from you know all those years ago you gave me so many memories and inspiration well I want to uh, repay the favor and this is my cookbook and this is uh, all New Zealand food so this is a memory for you that you can treasure about New Zealand have, your you, time have, you, here. have you written in it of course I've ah. written it. <laughs> you've achieved massive amounts in your life and your career you know three Michelin star restaurant restaurants all over the world you know amazing cookbooks you've published TV shows um, you know, an icon to young chefs. Um, so what is the left to achieve for you? Or what do you still want to tick off I'm your box? I'm only just beginning. Wow, watch this space. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just beginning. Absolutely amazing, Heston. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Well done, Mark. You didn't fanboy too much. Nice plug of your book, too. That was awesome. And how cute was your daughter, Gracie? I'm curious to know if you get to keep the barbecue. Uh, no, I don't get to keep the barbecue. <laughs> Unless Heston's watching. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>